kingdom. Let's, let's welcome Apostle Boyinga Shita. Let's put our hands together. Deserve nations. Put your hands together. Great is your faithfulness, O oh Lord, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with you. Thou changest not thy compassion, be faithful as thou hast been. How fair will be Great is my faithfulness Great is my faithfulness Morning by morning You mercy bless the name of the Lord do you realize that today is the last day of the month of April 30 days gone his faithfulness is great father we thank you speak through me oh God let your words come with power change every heart change every life touch everyone speak oh god to us in the mighty name of jesus great is your faithfulness indeed oh god i will sing of the mercies of the lord forever i will sing of the mercies of the Lord, I will sing. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord with my mouth.
Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, empower me with your grace, with your fire, with your power this morning in the name of Jesus. So I receive. Come on, say loud and clear. Say, I receive. Baptism of power. Say, I receive. Baptism of fire. Even now. In Jesus' name. And everybody shout amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, somebody. Thank you. Please let me appreciate the choir. Hallelujah. Amen. And before you take your seat, please walk to one or two or three people and say to them, be blessed this morning. It's a prophetic declaration. Come and declare over them, say be blessed. Be blessed. Hallelujah. And everybody say amen. And you may be seated in his presence. Thank you, sir, for having me here to be a blessing to God's people. I appreciate you and mama. Thanks for your right hand of fellowship. Please help me celebrate Pastor Anyopo Day this morning and his wife, who I'm sure she's with us in the spirit. Um, I want to also appreciate God's servants and his wife. He's been introduced, Pastor Salvation. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for being a blessing. To God's people. I can see the atmosphere suggests that it's been amazing and awesome in the last few days. God honor you more and more in Jesus' name. Okay. You know, Sunday services are usually short. Um, the time allocated for word administration is usually short. So, I will attempt to maximize. Already I have 32 minutes left because I, when I started the worship, my time was counting. So within the next 31 minutes, we'll see how God will help us. But don't forget the meeting continues tonight and then tomorrow morning. So, But we trust God to help us within the next 30 minutes to achieve something and 30 minutes will be like 30 hours of blessing. Yeah, yeah God, God can turn things around in just a few seconds. I'll take my Bible reading from the book of Ezra chapter 8 and verse 21 through to 23. I want to attempt to speak on the subject, power that stops embarrassment. Say after me, say power, power. That, stops that stops embarrassment. embarrassment. Now embarrassment, another word for embarrassment is shame. Another word for embarrassment is humiliation. Shame, humiliation, disgrace, dishonor. Ezra 8 and verse number 21. Shall we do the Bible reading together? One, two, let's go. Now, then I proclaimed a fast there. Why? Embarrassment, shame, humiliation was looming. 
Ezra said, Then I proclaimed a fast. We'll go further shortly. We were about to be put to shame. Embarrassment, humiliation, and shame was already locking, was, was already looming. We were close to it. I had to proclaim a fast. Next verse, 22. Let's read together. Everybody go. I was ashamed to require from the king bodyguards. Protection. I was ashamed to require of the king bulletproof vests. I was ashamed to do what others, are, what others are doing figuratively going to shrines to take oath so they can be promoted to cut covenants to go into witchcraft I was ashamed to do what is conventionally accepted I was ashamed to do what others do do what has become the norms and the acceptance in the political sphere in ministry. I was ashamed to request of the king to give us armors and ammo tanks and soldiers and horses to give us charms and amulets and etc. Because I had boasted about 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 I had talked so much about God I have preached so much about healing I've handled Sunday school sessions on deliverance I have conducted services on relationship management. I was the one who told them that God can do everything. It's now my turn. I have a challenge. Circumstances and situations are now suggesting that there might be some compromises. I was the one who told the king, Oh God, what are you doing with all these retinue of bodyguards and soldiers and bulletproof? Can I come down? Thank you. I'm a restless preacher. I was the one who told the king about the exploits of Moses in Egypt. How God preserved his people, protected his people, helped his people. I was the one we had been talking about this God of Israel. I told the king you know, the revelation you preach and teach shall be tested. Whether now or later. Excuse me, sir. Ezra was a scribe. Expert in the law of God. You can check it. 
Ezra was unparalleled. Ezra was unrivaled when it comes to the word, when it comes to relationship with God, when it comes to teachings, when it comes to observing God's word. Possibly, Ezra preached one year before then, two years ago, in his sermon, as he was raking and preaching in his sermon, he said, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, a thousand shall fall at your side. None shall come near you and with your you behold I was the one who preached it to the king. He shall give his angels to keep you in how many of your ways? I was the one who told the king It was time for the revelation to be to be tested. So the bandits on the way, the herdsmen on the way, and we have a crucial meeting to save souls. We're under pressure to cancel the meeting. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I think I've lost the church. Are you here at all? <laughs> oh. I was ashamed to request from the king band of soldiers and horsemen. Can I also tell you this? In the simplicity of Ezra. Everybody say Ezra. Now Ezra chapter 7 and verse 10. Ezra 7, 10. Let's go quickly. Let's read together. One, two, let's go. One. Through. He sought it. Then he did it. Then he started to teach it. That's the proper order. Unfortunately, in our time, is the reverse. We teach it, but we haven't done it. Because we read it academically. We are opening. They've told us to come and handle Bible study. And you open and you are teaching the revelation you preach and teach shall be tested. Ezra sought the law of God that may have taken time, probably years. He wasn't in a rush to be a pulpit minister like we have so many young people today. You've crammed some scriptures, you have some revelation, ah, but I want to download I want to pour it out. I have something. It's all right. But Acts 1.1 1, 1, The former treatise have I written to you, O Theophilus. Of all that Jesus began both to do and teach. He was a doer first. And I started to teach. There's nothing as impactful as a ministry that has first of all done before teaching. We know those who are academic in teaching. We know those who are academic in ministry. I know it. I can perceive it when it's academic. You've had no practical experience. You, you have not practiced it. You have not been tested. So when the chips are down, there's a compromise. I was ashamed to request of the king horsemen, 
bodyguards and soldiers because we had boasted to him that God, in fact, Ezra was the one who taught them and said to the king, you don't need all this king. He that dwells in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I'll say of the Lord is my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he will deliver from the sound of the foul land, from the noise of pestilence. A thousand shall fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand. None shall come near you. Only with your eyes you behold the road of the wicked. It's possible Ezra quoted Psalm 27 verse 1, 2, and 3, and 4. And said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When my enemies, even my foes, came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. A war may rise against me. My heart shall not fear. Uh, men gather against me. In this shall I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that I will seek after. It's possible that Ezra had quoted Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord who made heavens and the earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee shall neither slumber nor sleep. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your shade upon your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. He will preserve your soul. He will preserve your going and your coming from this day ends forth. It's possible Ezra quoted Psalm 124 and said, if that not been the Lord who was on our side, may Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up quickly. When the evil waters passed over, we would have been consumed. But thanks be to God, who did not give us as a prey to their teeth, our soul has escaped like a bird out of the snow of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is the name of the Lord who made heavens and the earth. It is possible he quoted those scriptures. It was time for it to be tested. Hmm. Verse 23. Back to Ezra chapter 8. Verse 23. Alright. So we sought the Lord. So we fasted. Ever say we fasted. And besought our God for this. And he was what? Entreated of us. Can we read the New Living Translation? And let's read from verse 21 again. This is just foundation for what I'm about to share with you. So I'm going to rush in the next 15 minutes and say, let's read again. And thereby the Hava Canal, I gave orders for all of us to fast and humble ourselves before our God. We prayed that he would grant us safe journey and protect us, our children, and our goods as we traveled. Verse 22, for I was ashamed to ask the king of soldiers and horsemen to accompany us and protect us from enemies along the way. After all, we had told, <laughs> we had told the king, our God's hand of protection is on all who worship him. But his fierce anger rages against those who abandon him. So let's see it happen now. So we fasted and earnestly prayed that our God would take care of us. And he heard our prayer. You are next. I say you are next. He will hear your prayer. During this conference, he will hear you. I pray for someone under the sound of my voice. Receive the power to stop embarrassment. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every power that is assigned to embarrass you. Today they are neutralized. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your hands and shout hallelujah. Some people are set up for embarrassment. But I've come here today to say it is nullified. The enemy has set you up for embarrassment. The powers of darkness have set you up for embarrassment. Now let's be honest. I give it to Ezra. He was down to earth. Ezra was down to earth. Now, if he was not down to earth, he wouldn't say what he said. He said, I was ashamed to ask. Now, if a man says, I was ashamed to ask, it means he was thinking about it. Do you agree with me? Let's look at the logic here. He says, I was ashamed to ask because. So, in other words, if he didn't preach to the king to say God protects, he may have asked. Am I making sense here? He said, the reason why I didn't ask is because I have been telling him about how powerful God is in terms of protection and preservation. I have been telling him, how can I now go and be asking him? He will say, maybe you are the one who was preaching to me. That's the only thing that stopped him. So, 
Ezra was like you and myself. Down to earth. He said, oh boy. <laughs> There's danger on that place. Oh. Ha. Hey, Lord, Lord, Lord. Let me ask the king, Lord. Hey, what do I do? Can I march by you? Hey, and I'm the one who preached. He went back to his sermon, 23rd of September. That particular year, he said, ha. The sermon oh, went back to December 21st on that day of Sabbath. What he preached, oh, same topic. You shall be delivered from embarrassment in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're under pressure, all of us, including myself. We're all under pressure in a world of ours that is charged with evil where people are fast compromising with alternatives whether political office holders or ministers clergy wearing cassock or entrepreneurs and business mongoose you are a child of god in the marketplace you are a child of god in public office you are a child of god in the in the in the marketplace in the business world you are a child of god in ministry you are under pressure to go the conventional traditional way alternative route but don't forget you are the one who told us about god until you are the one who preached to us and said we shouldn't compromise. God is able. Your slogan, brother, your slogan was God can do it. I was ashamed. I was ashamed. So, I proclaimed a fast. I humbled myself. I prayed and power fell. During this power conference, God's power will yet fall upon you. Your amen is not. I said to yet fall upon you. Your amen is not. I said to yet fall upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's an interesting story in Mark chapter 9, I believe. In Mark chapter 9, embarrassment. Jesus had taken Peter, James, and John to a mountain apart to pray. So three with him on the mountain and nine at the valley three with him on the mount of transfiguration nine at the bottom of the valley the bible said he take it with him peter james and john and went into a mountain apart and went to pray all right now those who stay in the valley are susceptible to embarrassment. You will no more stay in the valley. I don't like your amen here, honestly. Abba. I say you no longer stay in the valley. Those who stay in the valley are susceptible to embarrassment. Susceptible to embarrassment. The Bible tells us in verse number 14 of Mark 9. And when he came to the disciples, he saw great multitude around them and scribes disputing with them. Hmm. questioning with them my translation new king james version says disputing with them immediately when they saw him the people were greatly amazed and running to him greeted him and he asked the scribes what are you discussing with my guys what are you discussing with my guys i could hear your shoutings i could hear your mumblings what are you discussing with my guys uh, uh, what's going on here verse then one of the crowd 
Then one of the crowd answered and said, Teacher, I brought you my son who was a mute, who has a mute spirit. And wherever it seizes him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth, gnashes his teeth, becomes rigid. So I spoke to your disciples that they should cast it out. But they could not. Do you think this is embarrassing? I spoke to your disciples. How many people are reporting us to God? That's why they are going alternative ways. They are saying to Jesus, we spoke to your disciples. We, the servants, we, the servants, those of us who bear evangelists, pastors, apostles, reverend, and also those of you who say, oh, this sign shall follow them that believe. You are quoting it and saying it. And as you are saying it, the people who are saying it to, they believe. Has spoke to your disciples, figuratively. I have come several times. They have invited me to different conferences. And I spoke to your disciples. But they could not. They could not. They could not. They could not. Very embarrassing. From today, receive total deliverance from embarrassment. Every form of embarrassment, spiritual, ministerial, business, financial, every form of embarrassment, receive total deliverance. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They could not they could not. Mommy and your body, you're welcome. Man. God bless you. Man. They could not. Some years ago, someone gave me a call to pray for a member of their church who had a kidney issue. So we decided to do some prayers, I think for a few days, praying for her to recover. Just many years back. So I didn't hear from them again after we prayed. And in my mind, I believe the recovery had taken place. So sometime later, maybe months later, I got a call from um, people who gave me the prayer item. And they called me and I said, yes, hello. They said, oh, um, evangelist. I said, yes, sir. He said, you remember the lady you prayed for uh, in our church, the one with this challenge, this issue? I said, yes. I said, yes, confidently, expecting to hear that, oh, thank God, she's now back. So I said, yes, of course, the other one where we prayed for, yes. He said, we just buried her, she's dead. We just buried her last week. Ty! I took it as a way of slighting. You know, most of the times, if that happened, if it was me, and I called a senior minister to pray, and nothing happened, I won't call the senior minister to say, do you remember the person you prayed? The person eventually died. Pastor Mike, that thing hit me. He said, I just wanted to tell you that she died eventually that the one you prayed for I said okay so have as family and then that was the end of the call my heart broke lord please stop this embarrassment help us deliver us from embarrassment they could not cast it out Jesus said, look at the next verse. 
Next verse. No. Mark chapter 9 and verse number 19. Then Jesus answered them, You faithless people, how long must I be with you? How long must I put up with you? The answer to the embarrassment, the answer to stop that embarrassment is in the statement he gave to them. How long will I be with you? And you didn't draw from me the power that helps an individual to stop every embarrassment. I've been with you enough for you to draw. I've been with you enough for you to drink. I've been with you enough for you to tap into that power. But you didn't do anything about it. How long will I be with you? I made myself available, says Jesus. It's your duty prerogative to draw power. Through prayers, through fasting, through the word, through intimacy with God. It's your prerogative to draw power. Why won't you be embarrassed? Why won't you be embarrassed? They said, we told your disciple we begged them to cast it out and they could not jesus did not excuse them everybody did you hear what jesus said there he didn't excuse them he openly said he turned to them and said now let me put it in my look at that he said you see you show you they see yourself now should i hear you by you see yourself now you see how you messed up yourself. You see how you disgraced yourself. Thank you for the additional time, sir. I appreciate. Pastor just gave me 10 more minutes. Please help me appreciate my pastor. <laughs> he had a 10 minutes. That would do a lot. You see yourself now? In anger, Jesus said, bring the boy. He did not say, hey, it's not their fault. It's not their fault. They, I mean, they are still in the stage where I haven't finished with them yet. You know, I'm still preparing them. No. He said, he turned to them and said, you faithless. How long will I be with you? I've been with you and you can't draw power. In Mark, Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. Matthew 10 verse 1. So he said to them in Matthew 10 verse 1, uh, and, and Jesus called, uh, uh, when, Matthew 10 verse 1, and when he had called his 12 disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out. In other words, stop this, stop embarrassing me. So I will no more be an, an instrument of embarrassment to the kingdom. Does anybody want to pray that prayer with me? I will no longer be an instrument of embarrassment to the kingdom. Say, I will no longer be an instrument of embarrassment to the kingdom. Say, I receive power. Power to stop all forms of embarrassment. Come and say, I receive power. I receive power to stop all forms of embarrassment. I receive power to stop all forms of embarrassment. I will no longer be an embarrassment to the kingdom. I somebody pray. Somebody pray, pray, pray. Somebody make sure you are praying. This is what we're talking about. I receive power. Lord, to stop every form of embarrassment. I will no longer be a source, an instrument of embarrassment to God and to his kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Let me become an instrument through which embarrassments will be stopped against the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at Mark, Matthew 10 verse 1. Then I'll show you one more scripture. I'll stop there. I'll show you one or two more scriptures, then I'll stop, and then we'll continue in the evening. I'm going to pray with you. 
And we're going to see God move in his power. And there will be healings. Last Sunday we had a meeting in uh, Solid Rock Parish. And we had close to 250 people healed in that meeting. About 250 people healed, delivered. Today will not be an exception. In the mighty name of Jesus. He says, I give you power. He called them to him. When he had called his 12 disciples, he gave them power to stop embarrassment. He gave them power to stop, terminate every form of embarrassment. To over unclean spirits, to cast them out, to heal how many? Few? How many? Talk to me. How many? How many? All kinds of sickness. All kinds of disease. Cancer inclusive. So that no one will say, well, God is a specialist in healing this one. But this one we don't know. He said all. Everybody say all. We won't be like the people of Bethany. Who said if Jesus had come on time, Lazarus would not have died. But now that he's dead, well, we don't know what to do. The people of Bethany, they knew him as a healer, but they didn't know him as the one who raises the dead. So they see him as he's a specialist in healing, but he has no power of resurrection. All. Somebody say all. I am trusting God one day. One day, every sick person that comes to church will be healed. I say, every sick person that comes to church will be healed. I, as an individual, I haven't attained that yet. I give glory to God. We'll see healings. But not all are healed. I prayed for some, they got healed. By the grace of God. Prayed cancer, gone. Prayed God opened blind eyes, prayed deaf ears opened, prayed cripples walk by the grace of God, prayed short leg grow out in Australia by the grace of God. We've seen healings and deliverance and miracles, but I can also tell you, I've also seen couples of embarrassment. One day all healed, Lord. One day all healed. I give you power. I like the way King James Version puts it. KJV says, power against. Power against. Power against. Power against. When he called the twelve unto him, he said to his twelve disciples, he gave them power against. Power against unclean spirits. To cast them out. To heal all manner of sickness. All manner of disease. How many types? How many types? How many of you will receive that power this weekend? How many will receive power from the Lord? God is going to stretch out his hands. And he will release upon us power to stop every form of embarrassment. Shout it loud and clear. Say I receive the power. Stand on your feet and say I receive power. To stop all forms of embarrassment in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray, somebody. I receive power to stop all forms of embarrassment. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Rekoto so palika da bosha. Aha, 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 aha. Power against. Power against. Regada bosha la da 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 da. Le poso fre le katabahata. Somebody pray. Shele do 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 zo paragada ba. Rakoto so palikete. Rakoto so paligada bosha. Pa 
power against to stop every form of embarrassment. Somebody pray. Hey, Shalagarabosat. Reposo Palika Dabo Shata. Rekotoso Palikata. Rekotoso Palagadabosha. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Two more prayer points before I hand over the microphone. It's a short one. But miracles are happening already. <laughs> Look at angels in the building. Angels all over the building. Innumerable company of angels. Ezra said, I was ashamed to request from the king. So we prayed and fasted. And power came. And we stopped embarrassment. Through you, embarrassments will be terminated this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are 14 people under the sound of my voice. Financial embarrassment shall be terminated. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There are eight eight people under the sound of my voice and they are actually waiting for your God you told them you believe God for a healing and they are actually properly waiting because they, by, by scientific projection these people are waiting for your case to deteriorate eight of you under the sound of my voice you've been praying and talking to God and they are, they are doing their nose and their mouth like this let's see what happens Baba, please have mercy. We've gone through too much embarrassment, humiliation. We've gone through much shame. The world and the people are saying, Shebi pastor prayed and he still died. They are saying, Shebi they prayed and nothing happened. Even in the political landscape, they are throwing stones of verbal embarrassment and humiliation against us oh god intervene oh god intervene help us like you helped ezra every form of embarrassment we command it be terminated in the name of jesus Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Something's about to happen here. There are eight people. All shall stand by. The power is about to move. There are eight people here. I can't finish the message. I'll continue the evening. There are eight of you. Fourteen people. Financial embarrassment is being terminated. Fourteen. Financial embarrassment. Eight people. Embarrassment concerning your state of your health. The Lord is moving his power. To silence the adversary, eight of you. There are two sisters, fruit of the womb. There are five of you, marital settlement. It has become a case of embarrassment. Lift your hands, somebody. The power is coming now. 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 Power is coming now. Somebody said, Jesus. Oh. Somebody shout Jesus! Aha, 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 aha. That's right, 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 that's right. Usher's help. Somebody help there. Somebody help there. Somebody help there. Usher, stand by. Something is happening here. Somebody shout Jesus! Let the power fall. 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 Aha! 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 Receive! 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 
Somebody help. Somebody help there. Uh-huh. 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 Shalaba baba rakoto. Reposo pakata. Pray, 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 pray in tongues. The power is flowing. 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 Lift your hands. There are angels in the building. Look at that. Look at fire. Look at power. Sickness go. Disease go. Embarrassment be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Be terminated. Lift your hands. You are going to shout, Jesus, terminate every form of embarrassment in my life. Now, get ready. Are you ready? You're going to shout, Jesus, terminate every form of embarrassment in my life. There are two people under the sound of my voice. You feel like fire enter into your womb area. Your womb open for conception. Somebody help there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I command growth, go. I command pain, go. Bone disease, go. Bring her back here. Lift your hands. Shout, Jesus! Terminate every embarrassment in my life. Now! 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 Receive! 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 Let a fire fall! Aha! 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Put out your hands. Look up here. Don't miss the evening meeting. This is just a tip of the eyes, but we don't have time. And I'm grateful to God for allowing Pastor to give me an extra few minutes. You know, um, all those, if I gave a word of knowledge about you and those who felt the power of God, ushers, help them here quickly, quickly. Bring them close to the altar here. It's a power conference. Is a what? Is a what? Is a what? Power conference. All those who came under the power of God and those I gave word of knowledge about their situation, those who felt the power of God touch them, please bring them here quickly. Just come. Bring her, bring her here quickly. Quickly, quickly. We don't have time anymore. Insults and embarrassments are terminated. They are terminated. 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 Insults are terminated. Break in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. What we waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Break. Do it. 
financial embarrassment no more shame no more humiliation I'm telling you come in let me pray for you in the evening time is gone uh, you want me to pray for you now in the evening should we pray for him now oh it's my protocol no, no more, no more. Let's not, let's not abuse the privilege of time that pastor gave us. Those who are planning to put you to shame, they will not succeed. In the name of Jesus, they will soon greet you congratulations. As I argue this way, so they will greet you congratulations. They will greet you congratulations in the name of Jesus. Somebody shall power. Somebody shall power. Power to stop embarrassment. All our online viewers will bless you. Let the same anointing flow to your homes. Wherever you're watching from online, will speak the power of God into your situation. Power to terminate embarrassment. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. If you are here, you have not given your life to Christ. I can do that in 10 seconds. You want to be born again. You are not saved. Or you've backslidden. You want to come to Christ back. Raise your hands. Anybody? You want to give your life to Christ? If you're raising your hand, come to the altar. Anybody? Alright. So, we're free from the blood of all men. And those watching online, if you want to give your life to Christ, open your heart. 
and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Save my soul and forgive all my sins. I worship you and follow you for the rest of my life. And say that prayer. And I say in Jesus' name, the Lord hear you. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, somebody. Are you celebrate the grace of God.